So a lot of you probably thought that I wasn't going to go back to doing my Scream 6 review. Anyone who actually watched it. So, he's a fucking... Ro Cause I'm a creep! Sorry. Anyway, you are fucking wrong, by the way. You are just wrong. Anyway, back to my Scream 6 review. <laughs> um, I still remember where I left off. So, I love the scene with Tara and... Oh, my fucking skin's itchy. Anyway, um, and Sam. I just, as I said, I love that. We're like, where are you? Where are you? It's like, you can't find me. It's like, yeah, bullshit. We know where you are. It's like, you can't stop us, motherfucker. You know, they're looking around and it's the suspense. And you're thinking, oh, is it going to be a situation like Scream 2? And he goes up, come here, come and get me. It's like, no, I'm not here. And to go, she's just about to go up and grab a phone. The guy just kind of walks past, like, I'm right here. And it just goes, ah, and all that. And just like, oh, wow. And then you just get this amazing fucking chase sequence. Sequence, sequence where Ghostface is there, like no, no, and she's like no, stop it, stop it, and all that, you know. And they're like, oh shit, and then cars are like, watch it, lady, you know, running across, you know, just this great moment where like cars are running and fucking, they're dealing with the fucking, you know, the hustle and bustle of New York City, and it's such an intense, great fucking scene. What the fuck? Why? Um. You know, they're running through like, oh shit, and then he, they're just running like, oh shit, and the ghost face is just there, fucking running after them, like, Ehh. um, and you just get this amazing sequence, and then, you know, there's people in the store, like, yeah, there you go, thank you, and then it's like, yeah, I'm waiting all here, and I think there's this guy, like, complaining, like, fucking, gotta wait in this fucking line all, all the way through, could you hurry it up, and the guy's like, whatever, and then, out of nowhere, you have, one of the best scenes in the movie that's in the trailer, but it's better in the movie. You're running, hey, please, you gotta help us, you gotta help us. Whoa, calm down, what's wrong? It's like, you gotta help us, there's a madman chasing us. It's like, hey, hey, there's a fucking line here, girl. It's like, yeah, good, wait in line. It's like, no, you gotta help us, there's a crazy maniac. What? Maniac. Oh, yeah, that's just New York, sweetheart. Welcome to New New York City, which was a nice, like, Friday the 13th Part 8 reference, which, as I mentioned, at the start of the movie, you know... Tony Revolori's character's watching Friday the 13th Part A. And then we get to that moment where, as he gets his throat slit, he's like, we have to finish the movie. And then Ghostface goes, who gives a fuck about movies? And then slashes the fucking... I just farted. Slashes his throat and it comes up scream sick. And then we get a brilliant shot in New York City and it goes through it. You know, brilliant, like camera shot and then it goes over over the head shot and all that kind of stuff you know like oh like bird's eye view shot not over the head shot I, see I, I i found the film skill and then i what it's like it looks like shit behind me but anyway um what else did i want to say i want to say something else um and then like i love that whole sequence you know I love that whole thing, now I see something red when he slashes the woman's throat and she's like, oh, you know. But, um, you now coming back to what I was saying earlier, uh, you know, do I just listen to York? No, but there's a guy fucking chasing us, you gotta listen to us. And then Edwin Ori is just like, boom, he's like, get out of my way. He pushes someone and he's like, hey, you know, Ghostface comes in, busts in the fucking um, the shop door or whatever. Pushes the person down, like, oh, come on! Pushes the person down and just goes, and the guy's like, hey, hey, do you have a fucking problem here, guys? He's like, no, and he used the, like, little voice thing so he can say it, like, in Scream 3, but another, in, like, Scream 3 and 5 and the other movies. And it's like, hey, what are you gonna do? What the fuck are you gonna do? And then the guy just goes, ah, and just slashes the guy's throat, like, oh, and stabs him, and shit, like, oh, fucking stabs him. It's like, hey, what the fuck? And stabs another guy, kills another fucking guy. Um, which I believe he kills two people there's a tree I know he kills the, the store clerk but I'm thinking does he kill two or three people in the store and they're like oh no no and they start running and hiding and stabbing and all that and then out of nowhere got, the guy just pulls out a shotgun hey stop it and I shoot Skull's face and he's like I'm like go go get out of here like thank you thank you and he's like come on and he's like come on and then they're hiding and then he's like fighting Skull's face like oh hit someone ever fucks him up 
um, you know, I believe stabs him, like, fucks the guy up, like, oh shit, he's on the ground, hits him with the fucking gun, um, starts kind of like shooting, like, at the different things, uh, shooting at the glass, just pulls a gun, like, fucking Terminator 2 style shotgun, and just goes, and he goes, and then he just goes, and they're like, oh god, and it's cutting back and forth, and they're like, oh no, and he just pulls a gun, and just goes, and the fucking guy's brains fucking splatter everywhere and it's such an amazing kill it's such a cool kill to see him kill like two people with a knife stab the guy or slit, slit him cut him whatever and then just pull the shotgun and shoot the guy in the fucking head and then you just get this really suspenseful scene which is in the trailers but it's actually more suspenseful in the actual movie um and yeah, it's more suspenseful in the actual movie. They're just there like, oh god, we gotta stop it. And then he's just there looking around, kind of going, <laughs> and like, oh god, okay, we gotta crawl, you know. So they're just crawling, you know. Who is that? Oh, it's the neighbor. <laughs> anyway, um, broken glass and stuff. And as they're there, they're just like, <laughs> and then you see it's really creative it's a really great creative scene they're looking over and you have the mirror and they're like oh god run they're shooting and then you cut back and like oh we've a, we've a disturbance at the police station like oh god damn it and then they drive the fucking cop car down and the cops like come on come on where are you and they run out and then Ghostface runs out like oh and they run out it's like come on come on and Ghostface runs out or whatever it's like there he is he's in there where is he come on where is he and busts in it's like okay go go get out of here it's like okay god and they're just there or whatever it's like you got multiple casualties there's men down here oh god there's people been killed and stuff and it's like we're gonna need to speak to you two at the station it's like look we didn't do anything he's after killing people yeah but you guys are still suspects and then they put it up as a crime scene it's like hey chief this is what happened we gotta do this it's like okay get them out of here get these two girls to the police station wow did you see that fucking spit holy shit so okay we gotta go so god this is bullshit we gotta go so they drive off drive off and it's such a great intense fucking scene and you're like oh fuck um and the practical effects and the gore oh my god like oh, and like fucking great practical gore and even the bits of cgi gore that they have works shoots the guy's brains out stabs and cuts up a few people and i'm just thinking to myself that is such an awesome sequence great chase scene very different for a uh, scream film um, and obviously setting it in this big city and it does what Jason takes Manhattan cut and fucking do and this is the thing that annoys me I just do not understand the hate for this movie some people really don't like it and I'm like why? <laughs> it's fine it's literally fine I, I don't understand it but anyway um, you know you do come back to scenes of the departments like oh god are they okay? oh god it's awful it's like yeah and you get the comedic character you know having sex all the time um but they're brought to the police station like okay we gotta go examine and talk to these two people okay let's go you know they're like okay let's go and you get brilliant shots and stuff so like, let's go in and talk to them and then you get a great interview scene with tara and um what's it samantha it's like you know I hope we get out of this. Like, I'm sorry if I've been putting pressure on you. No, it's fine. We'll, we've survived this before. We'll get through it. It's like, can you stop doing that? You know, there's the sister dynamic. Once again, they're having issues again. But I feel like in this movie, compared to the last one, it was a lot more, um, a lot more dramatic, surprisingly, even though she lied. And, like, a little bit of the drama from the fifth one is brought into this as well. It's like, it'll be fine. And then cop comes in he sits down he's like so ladies what's what's going on where are we there it's like we were there we were at the party when we received the phone calls like a phone call from who from whoever this sick psychopath is and it's like you know you have to have better al alibis it's like they chase us down the city so wait chase you down goes into a store and people got shot it's like yeah and conveniently you are at the place where these two people are victims are murdered and he's shown the photos it's like oh god it's like you know it's like yeah but we didn't do that. It's like, yeah, but you knew these people. It's like, I don't know. It's like, well, I'm a lawyer. Look, it's fine. Stay here. And they walk up. It's like, I don't know if people are going to believe us. It's like, yeah, I know, but we have to try. We'll get through this. It's like, yeah, okay. 
we understand that. You know, I understand you don't have to keep saying it. So yeah, let's go out. And then, you know, it's cutting back and forth, and it's a great intense scene. Like, okay, let's go. And so they walk out. Like, okay, so are you sure you need to stay here? It's like, are you sure you need to be here or whatever? And it's like, yeah, are we free to go? And I was like, yeah, go. Like, but what keeping close eye on you all that kind of shit it's like come on let's go so we've got to get out of here so then walk out the police station it's like I don't want to have to do any part of this I know but th we were told by Sydney that this is going to be our life she was right and stuff and she's like yeah but Sydney I don't want that to be my life I don't want it to be neither do I but this is just the way it is we'll, we'll get through this together and all and they walk out and I like that sister dynamic and it's scary to think oh shit this is really going to be their life you know, and then, um, oh my god, I keep forgetting I have to review Moon, anyway, that's completely off topic, um, what did I want to say, I wanted to say something else there, but I like it, like, okay, let's go, we gotta go check a few things here, okay, let's, let's go, and they're checking things at the station, blah, 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 um, and, I'm in the middle of doing something. I just kind of wanted to... I will do another part. I just kind of wanted to... Continue my Scream 6 review. Just because... I hadn't... Touched it in a while. And I wanted to remind you guys that I'm still fucking going to do it. Um, I do have a... Like, I have loads of reviews planned. Guardians 3. John Wick 4. Uh, John Wick 3 and 4. So... Yeah. I will be back. Do not worry.